Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 77 and in this episode I'm going to share with you more than 30 new features in 17 different Google Apps so without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the YouTube app and the first change is the new curved corners for the video previews. So as you see here, it's curved and when you wait for a few seconds until the video auto plays, it will fill the entire width using this new animation like this. The second change is the new play something button at the bottom right corner that becomes smaller when you start scrolling and when you tap on it, it will pick a random video from your suggestions and as you see it's a long form video even though it uses the same shorts like format and at the top you have this filter that says less than 20 minute videos only. Tapping on it will simply suggest only videos that are less than 20 minutes. You have a seek bar at the bottom, you have the ability to play and pause and if you want to jump to full screen view, you will not find the same full screen button at the bottom right corner, but instead you need to tap on the ellipses and then rotate screen and that's when it plays in full screen view. Change number three, when you search for videos, you will notice here that the chapters preview got redesigned and now it shows up to five thumbnails from the available chapters. And if there is more, it will show you this stack icon at the end to let you know that there are more than five. The share sheet also got redesigned and when you try to share a video, you will notice here that it's more compact and closer to your thumb, which is easier for one-handed use instead of getting the options stacked on top of each other in vertical view like before. And lastly, now the subscribe button will animate when the content creator says the word subscribe. So let me show you how it works. Apps I have for you, but before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get So this is how it works. And if you like this new animation, let me help you out. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. And let me know how many times your button animated. Next, YouTube music. And I only have one change for you. From the now playing screen, when you go to the related tab and scroll all the way down, you will see a new section called song details, which will show you the song name, the views, the publish year, how many likes, and when you tap on the thumbnail, it will take you to the album page. Next, keep notes. And we finally got the new text formatting feature, and this is the splash screen you will see on your phone once you open the app after getting the feature. And here's how it works. You will notice here that I have a new button that looks like an underlined A. Tapping on it will allow me to do some formatting like changing the text to H1, H2 or normal text. You can also make it bold, italic or add an underline. And if you want to clear all the formats, you can tap on this T with a stroke. And once you're done, you can tap on the X. The next app we have is Google Chrome. And the first change is in the site settings button. Now it looks like toggles instead of the lock icon like before. And for reference, here is my Pixel 5 that didn't get this new change. And as you see, there is a difference in the design. The second change is in the Omni box. Now it supports Material U. And as you see, everything has curved frame around it, which wasn't the case before. Next, Google Messages. And the first change is the redesigned home page. First, the side menu is now gone and it shows the Google logo and the app name comes next. And all the options we used to have under the side menu are now located under the profile menu, like archived, spam, mark all as read and device pairing. The second change is related to the search and the search bar is now gone from the home screen and got replaced with a button and here's a side by side comparison with the old design. And also when you go to the search page you will see some differences. First the section names are now gone and also there are more filters for your search. First you can tap on unread, known which are the numbers saved in your contact list or unknown for any other conversation in addition to the previous options. And finally, Google Messages on Wear OS can now send voice messages. And here's one of the conversations I have. I sent myself an audio message that I can play on the watch speaker. And if I want to send an audio message, I can tap on the mic icon and it will ask me if I want to use voice to text or send a voice message. Tapping on voice message will start the recorder. And once you're done, you can tap on send or tap on undo if you want to ignore the action. Next, the phone app. On the left, I have the older version. On the right, I have the new one. And you will notice here that the calls menu got renamed to calling accounts. 
And when you go inside, you will see that calling accounts used to be a sub menu, but now it's the main menu. And if you want to change the SIM card for calling, you no longer need to go into a sub menu called calling accounts and then tap on this button, but you can do it from the first page right away. And for the rest of the options, you can simply tap on the SIM card name. Next, the Google app. And the most exciting change is the redesigned at a glance widget that Google started to roll out to all Android phones and here I have it on my S23 Ultra. So let's take a look at the new design. On the left you have the date that when you tap on nothing happens. On the right you have the weather info that has the same shape as material U widgets we have on Pixel phones. And when you make the widget smaller the design of the weather info will change. And also when you tap on it it will take you to the Google app weather information in the middle we have this ellipsis button that will allow you to customize the widget like for example changing the style here you have the solid which is, which is the one i already have you have transparent and lastly you have the semi-transparent option then you have a customized menu that will allow you to choose what type of information you want to show on your at a glance widget like the weather alerts upcoming and so on it doesn't have the full list of features we have on pixel phones but it has some useful ones too and here you have the ability to send feedback about the content currently showing on the widget you can choose between useful or not useful the second change is the new curved thumbnails for the articles showing in google discover which matches the same design we saw in the youtube app change number three is the ability to link your fitbit wellness info to google assistant routines so let me show you how it works when you go to your google app settings page and then go to google assistant then routines and then choose any of the routines you have or create a new one then tap on add action you will see this new menu which is called get wellness info from here you can choose between the activity data and sleep data when you take the box next to activity data you have the ability to choose the step count the distance the calories and days exercised and you will see here that the access is fitbit app and it doesn't allow me to change it then i can tap on done and then we have the sleep data and here i can choose the hours slept or sleep start time so now i added the two actions to my routine so let's give it a try by triggering the routine by saying the word good morning good morning good morning the time is 406 a.m today you did 0 0.18 miles walk 396 steps and burn 380 calories it looks like you don't have any day's exercise data. It looks like you don't have any sleep data recorded. Have a good one. And this is how it works and I think it's a very useful feature. Next, Google Play Store. And the only change I'm going to show you today is under the Play Store settings. And when you expand the general section, you will see this new toggle which is called Automatically Archive Apps. And the description says apps you use rarely will be archived when your storage runs low which will be done automatically in the background without you doing anything. Now let's talk about Google Maps. And the first change when you search for a location and get the pin on the map and then start navigating away from this location. As you see here, I have a bubble that looks like a pin. And when I tap on it, it will take me back to this location right away, which is a nice touch. Change number two is the ability to open the ride sharing app directly from Google Maps using this button. Change number three is the ability to choose an emoji for your saved lists, which will make it easier for you to identify these locations on the map. So for example, I chose the camera emoji for some photography stores in Egypt. And let me show you how you can achieve this. When you go to the saved tab and then tap the ellipses next to any of your lists, then choose edit list. At the top here, you have an icon. You can tap on it and it will show you the full list of emojis you have so you can pick whatever you want and next time you uh, explore the map you will see these icons over here next gboard and the only change i found is under settings and then languages and when you try to add a keyboard now you will see all the keyboards related to a specific language are grouped together with a small arrow next to the language to let you know that you have more options Google also integrated the Emoji Kitchen feature of Gboard into Google Search, which will allow you to use the feature on any device, either it's a PC or an iPhone. All you need to do here is to type in the search Emoji Kitchen, and you will get a banner at the top with a Get Cooking button. Tapping on it will allow you to start mixing your emojis. You can tap on the emoji you want to change first, like this, 
and then the result will appear on the right side. You can copy it right away. You can randomize each emoji separately or you can tap on the randomize button which will randomize everything for you or you can clear everything and start putting your emojis one by one and then copy the, the result. Next, the files app. And the first change is a new option under settings called Smart Search. The description says get better search results with automatic scanning for your own device file content. So you should expect better search results if you have this toggle activated. And the second change is in how the settings are organized. So for example, here on my 6 Pro, I didn't get this new update. And you will notice here that notifications, for example, is at the very top. While here in the older version, it's under uh, a section called the clean. There is also a new section called search that didn't exist before, which will consolidate all the search options in one place and so on and so forth. Next, the Google TV app. And it got a new widget that will give you some useful shortcuts like the ability to search for something directly from your home screen. You can access your remote control. It will show you the latest content that you can scroll through with a button to open the Google TV app directly. And also you can resize this widget like this and this is the smallest size you can get now let me show you a couple of new changes only exclusive to the pixel phones the first one is in the at a glance widget now when you tap and hold on it you will get this new about this content option that will show you a floating card with the source of the weather info and you can tap on openweather.com if you want to know more about this information the second one is the location for weather so if you want to learn more about how the feature works and how it accesses your location it will take you to the google support page and lastly you can tap on customize here at the bottom which will take you to your at a glance widget settings google also added tons of new wallpapers to pixel phones that you can access from the wallpaper and the style app and then more wallpapers when you go to cityscapes you will see a lot of new options here in addition to life under textures i found a lot more as well and finally under art so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes i wanted to show you and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the glowing subscribe button but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video